everyone welcome to beauty in the garden i'm t in today's video i am going to be doing my fall front porch makeover so i'm so excited to go ahead and get this done i'm loving the colors i'm enjoying the pieces that i picked out i did shoot a video the other day of what i picked up from the dollar tree and some of these items that i have as well i picked up from walmart and lowe's and some of the pieces that I do have, it comes straight from my garden. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. Now I do have on gloves today because I will be cleaning as well. And I don't normally use gloves when I'm coming up with doing my plants. But since I'm going to be wearing them anyways, I have on gloves today. So let's go ahead you guys and get into our fall front porch makeover. I hope you guys enjoy. So first things first, I do have my little caddy that I use in the home. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pretty much just clean up the door frame and the door itself and the windows. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get in to putting out everything that I will be using in this today's video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the self-adhesive hooks that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna go ahead and place them going up the left side of my doorway. So here are the two Dollar Tree items that I purchased here. And I'll be using these beautiful clear hooks. And I'm gonna be placing them right up and down the door case. Now I have the smaller ones and I'm going to be placing them right above the door case. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my burlap wire that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. 
here's the corn stalk that came right on my garden this season. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the bases all together like this. Go ahead and cut your wire. I say roughly about 10 inches. All right, so now I have about five burlap wire. You're gonna take your corn and you're gonna wrap it around like this and twist and lay it flat. going to place it at the left side of the door cage. You're going to go ahead and take four to five more and we're going to layer it going up like this, okay? But this time, I'm going to take the burlap string and you're going to find your hook going to go ahead and twine it together. Just like that. Okay? And we're going to keep doing that till we get up to the top. Okay, so now once we have secured our corn stalks, we're gonna give it a good little fluff, okay? So right here is the Dollar Tree garland that I picked up. I went ahead and twined it throughout the wreath. 
and I thought I had everything going when I was filming but I did not so this is what it looks like right now and I went ahead and just pretty much put it throughout our corn stalk now right here is the burlap wire now I'm gonna go ahead and use this to attach my little pieces that I bought from the Dollar Tree as well these are very cute little decorative owls that have little hats on them so basically put the wire string through the back of the string that came with it and what I did is I basically wanted to attach it to the corn stalk So basically just twist it back and secure it into place. Right here is the next item that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and it says home sweet home. And what I'm gonna do with this as well is place it at the base of the corn stalk. Now please do not use the little tassel that came with it. It is not strong. So what we're going to do is put it onto the stick part of the sign and we're going to attach it there I'm just making sure that I twist it really good and make sure it stays in place. The next thing I'm going to do is take the mason jar. I purchased this as well from the Dollar Tree. This is my favorite uh, piece that I purchased. I think it's just absolutely done very well. So basically I'm just going to go ahead and take the burlap string and I'm going to go ahead and secure the jar. So go ahead and put the wire in first and then go ahead and wrap it around the base top part of the jar and secure it into place. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it at an angle so that it gives the reef a little bit more detail. Twist it really, really tightly so it stays in place. Here is a little maple leaf it says give thanks and i'm going to go ahead and place this at the top corner of our reef and we're going to place that too as an at an angle so what i did was go ahead and use the string that came with it and to the base of the leaf and i put it throughout so it can secure it which you can see here so it'll be nicely secured into place
So right now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my plants. I'm gonna go ahead and use a couple of my pumpkins out of the garden and as well we're going to be planting some mums and some pansies and some creeping jennies throughout this planter right now i'm going to go ahead and shake in some miracle grow um, fertilizer in all of my planters and i'm going to go ahead and give that a good stir So I'm going to place the pumpkins right here into place, giving myself an idea where I want to go ahead and place everything. So there's the Creeping Jennies and the Pansy I decided to pick with these colors. It's a beautiful bright yellow with a tinge of orange and like a chocolate center. So this right here, the Creeping Jennies is giving it a draping element to the planters. I'm going to be placing three pansies at the top base of this planter. And I'm gonna go ahead and plant one orange mum very close to the pumpkins. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start on the second tier of our planter. And with the second tier, I'm gonna go ahead and place my little pumpkins into place where I'm thinking I wanna go ahead and put the mums now for the second tier I'm going to go ahead and put in four mums two yellow and two orange so now that I already figured where I want to go ahead and put them into place I'm gonna go ahead and take out all of the pumpkins and I'm gonna go ahead and place my mums. And that is what the middle tier looks like. And right below it, I do not know again, I went ahead and put at the base of the bottom base is all pansies. <laughs> I decided not to go with the mums, so I took all the mums out and then I went ahead and put all pansies. And now I'm just basically draping around the planters with another garland. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the mums and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop in all pansies so I can separate the elements of this planter.
going to go ahead and shake in some more of my Miracle Go Fertilizer in these planters. And I'm going to go ahead and pop in some mums. Now I did get these mums from Walmart. They are a little bit bigger and I'm going to go ahead and pop these in the planter. So here you guys is the end result. I went ahead and popped in two pumpkins in the front planters with the mums. And here's the planters and how they turned out. And here's the other side. The wreath came out so pretty for the door entryway. I went ahead and popped in my old um, grapevine wreath with nothing on it and it gave it just a perfect touch. And right here is what this area is looking like. I went ahead and watered these guys in. And over here, I just did a little, little section here. A little cutesy, got a little pumpkin here, got a little white pumpkin there with some creeping jennies. And a orange mum and as well I popped in another mum right here on the corner and as well I went ahead and put some corn stalks in my pots so this is what the front porch is looking like I think everything has came out absolutely amazing Okay, everyone, we're at the end of the video. I hope you enjoy the content. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now.